Hi, and welcome back to episode three of Photography with Emery, and that would be me. And on today's episode, we're going to be looking at the sensitivity of a camera. And sensitivity is basically how sensitive your camera is to light. Does it pick it up very quickly or very slowly? It's not as sensitive. Simple as that. Now, there were several standards uh, created for uh, film, such as ASA and even the German DIN. However, nowadays, we're more used to seeing the ISO, or sometimes pronounced ISO, uh, standard. And uh, that standard is actually created by the International Organization for Standardization. But uh, ISO actually is, is a Greek word, or comes from a Greek word, that basically means equal. On my blog, you'll find more information about the ISO standards, but now let's take a look at how sensitivity actually works. For film, it's basically related to the size of its grains. Uh, the grains are usually a compound like silver halide, and they're on the emulsion of the uh, surface of the film. The smaller these grains, basically the less sensitive the film is to the light. So you'll encounter lower ISO numbers, such as ISO 100 or 200. The larger the grains on the film, the more sensitive that film will be to light. Thus, you'll get higher ISO numbers, such as 800. And the basic idea for sensitivity on a digital camera is more or less the same, except instead of dealing with film, you have a CCD or CMOS sensor, and the signal that's output from that sensor is amplified. In other words, the gain is increased. The less gain applied to the sensor's output, the lower the sensitivity it will be uh, to light. Uh, so you're looking at settings such as ISO 100 or 200. However, if you apply more gain to that output, in other words, you're amplifying that signal a little bit more, uh, the higher the sensitivity will be to light, and you're looking at ISO values of around 800 and higher. All right, so that's pretty interesting, but how does it really tie into photography? Well, let's take a look at these next few slides and you'll get a better grasp of how the sensitivity of a camera ties into your shutter speed, for example. This is where sensitivity, shutter speed, and aperture start to come together. If you have your camera set to a lower ISO setting, then your camera sensor will be less sensitive to light, so you're going to need a longer exposure time. In other words, your shutter speed will need to be slower. If you're set to a higher ISO, like 800, 1600 and up, then your camera's going to be very sensitive to light, so you can use a faster shutter speed in order to get a good exposure. But aperture falls into the picture here as well. Aperture also controls the amount of light that enters your camera, so if your aperture is closed, uh, let's say you're at higher numbers like f16, then in that case you may need to actually boost your ISO a bit, or else your shutter speed might be too slow to, for example, hold your camera by hand. So remember, these two, especially aperture and ISO, are, are usually set kind of together. And you'll see that in a bit. I have another few slides on that later. Okay, so basically, if we're in a low light situation, we can pump that uh, ISO setting up really high. Let's go 1600 or even 3200 ISO. Well, it may not be as simple as that. There is a downfall to using higher ISOs on, well, even film, but as well as digital cameras like this one here. Um, what happens is your picture starts to get a little bit grainy. Here, let's take a look. A 100% crop of this image will serve to demonstrate how raising your ISO setting affects the image, making it grainier in appearance as the level rises. You'll note the trade-off between image quality and getting a faster shutter speed, so, for example, you can still handhold your camera without getting a blurry picture. So thanks for joining me for this week's episode on sensitivity, and I hope you found it useful and you're starting to kind of get the idea of putting together aperture, shutter speed, as well as the sensitivity. On next week's episode, I'm going to be discussing a few basic techniques for composing uh, your shots, basically. So uh, hopefully you can take some better uh, photographs out there. And remember to check out my blog. I do supplement these videos with more information and links. So if you want to find out a little bit more about digital noise or uh, different things I discussed just in more detail, definitely check out my blog and you'll see that in the credits and those little annoying uh, annotations that I usually put throughout the video. And of course, Remember to subscribe because I do uh, do quite a few of these videos. Every week there's pretty much one and uh, definitely have a few more on the way. So uh, thanks again for joining me and I hope you take care. Happy shooting. Mm -hmm.